Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. My name is Howard and today we are going to be practicing ethical hacking skills using Hack the Box. This machine is called Knife and it's a Linux machine. Our main goal here is to practice as much as we can on ethical hacking side so that we understand ethical hacking skills so that we can be better defenders and protect the enterprise. The goal here is if you can practice, that means that we can keep learning more things and we get better every time. So let's jump in and figure out what is this machine all about. First, I know that it's an easy Linux machine. I started it. It's retired at 10, 10, 10, 242. So copying that IP address, I'm going to go to my Kali Linux machine where I already started my OpenVPN. You notice that the IP address here for the tunnel is for OpenVPN connected to hack the box. The next, let's just do quick nmap dash sv dash sc. sv is service version, sc is default scripts. And let me just do dash vv. Our main goal here is to just have fun. So we're not going to be worried about too many things other than, hey, there is a machine, it's vulnerable. Let's see if we can break into discovered port 22. I usually ignore 22. Oh, and it's done. So looking through these results, we only have two ports. These are TCP ports, top 1000 ports that are scanned. And we also have port 80. Port 80 gives us that we are running Apache with this version here. It's emergent medical idea. So let's go visit this port 80. Let's see what's there. All right. When I see a website like this, most of the time what I want to do is figure out what platform is this website running on? None of these buttons work. That's interesting. We don't have anything other than these few words here. So for this, I'll inspect. Let's look at the network headers here by just refreshing the page, going to the developer tools. This is the original get request that we sent. And then let's move this and take a look. Okay, we send a get request to that. Okay, really nothing. Uh, Apache version that we already know. It's powered by PHP. Oh, this one is interesting. Most people, it says dev. If it didn't say dev, I'll probably have missed this one. So it's PHP that. We'll look, look up that PHP quick. PHP user agent. Okay. So it looks like there's an exploit. Let's run Nikto against that machine as well. So say Nikto. Uh, was it dash H for host? I don't believe... I don't remember this, but let's see. All right, we are running Nikto, which is a web scanner that I usually used when I was going for the OSCP. And this will also give us information like, okay, we found the version of the headers here. So that confirms what we saw already. But also sometimes this Nikto can act as a vulnerability scanner. It can tell us if there's any known vulnerabilities, but it's not that great at it. That version seems to be outdated. Anyway, Let's run Nikto, and while Nikto is running, let's also check that exploit, the PHP exploit. Uh, okay, we do have a re remote code execution for the exact version. Let's check out exploit DB. Let's also check out this article. All right, PHP dev remote code execution. There's a script, it's from three years ago. What is the problem with PHP? PHP version 8.13 dev was released with backdoor match by the Backdoor was quickly discovered and removed. So if this PHP is on the server, we can execute arbitrary code by sending user agent in the header. So that's backdoor. We can modify the headers. So to do that, we run our script and then we enter the URL and we get an interactive shell. Then we get a reverse shell. All right, we're not gonna waste time. We'll use that as a POC. So it looks like there's a backdoor in the header and in here let's clone the repo all right and let's get in the repo all right so here's um a couple script scripts that are the rev shell or backdoor let's go back to our poc so we're just gonna see to get a reverse shell this is what we do or do we want a big door? Um, I would like a reverse shell. Reverse shell is more fun. So it says PHP 3, Python 3, that the target URL, 
ataka IP, ataka port. Super simple. Uh, what is my IP? A. My IP is that 10.10.16.2. So for the target URL. Okay. Then the attack IP. Uh, the port. Let's just use the classic quad four. Um, I should have been listening. Make here dash LV and P. All right, we get a reverse shell. So we ran the script and we are in here. Okay, um, sudo, okay. First, let's do an ls dash la. Where are we? Okay, cd slash home. cd james. So James is the only user here. Okay. So we grab our user to text here because we were able to break in very quickly. There we go. There is our user that is text done. Now, what I like to do for privilege escalation, since we are now already James here, is find out are they able to run any pseudo commands? In this case, <laughs> this is okay sure we can run the command knife so what i like to do is look up gtl 4 bins so like that and if there's something from gtl 4 bins and here we it's part of the pseudo it says if the binary is allowed to run a super user pseudo it does not drop the elevated privileges and may be used by uh to access the file system so that's the vulnerability here so we can escalate by running pseudo knife exec bin bash okay so the only thing that we need to do is point to the binary. Actually, let's run it exactly the way it is. Because I believe it should still work. Sometimes we have to point to the user bin knife, but it should just work from here. Uh, ID. Okay. Where am I? We are root. CD such root. Okay. CD such root. LS get root dot text okay this was a little bit easier than most boxes that we have done but this is indicative of what you see on the oscp so our main goal is to build muscle memory to do these things as fast as we can with a full understanding of what we're doing and hopefully we learn something every all right so the machine has been pawned as you can see we have our badge that i should probably post to linkedin otherwise thank you very much for being here I hope you enjoyed part of this machine and I hope to see you next time. Have a good one.